a man suddenly falls to the ground and vomits. The radiation meter next to him is skyrocketing. Someone tried to help, but he accidentally touched the radiation dust. When they looked up, the radiation swept over them. It turns out that just now there was an explosion at the nuclear power plant. Tons of nuclear fuel were blown into the air. The scene of the explosion was like an inferno. The workers who couldn't escape in time were killed and injured. The cries of despair echoed throughout the plant. When the prime minister learned of the explosion, the first decision he made was not to save people immediately. He blocked the news. He asked officials to tell residents in a 20-mile radius that it was just an emergency evacuation drill. Then he went straight to the town's residents in the gymnasium for temporary evacuation evacuation, and a 10-kilometer radius is closed. We can't let any of this get out. This operation resulted in over 100,000 people being exposed to radiation. Hundreds of thousands of people were exposed to radiation. Inside the nuclear power plant, Jayhack survived. He forced himself to tear through the rubble. He rescued several injured workers. They helped each other out of the plant. Then the fire service and medical team arrived, but they didn't dare to go in for fear of radiation. Jayhack was furious. What the hell are you doing? You're just going to leave the people inside? We're doing everything we can. There's nothing we can do. Hurry up and get in there. What kind of rescue team are you? The surviving workers had no choice but to save themselves. They ignored the radiation. They rushed in to save their fellow workers, and Jay Hayak, in the process of rescuing them, he accidentally spilled cooling water on himself. He collapsed on the ground because he couldn't handle the radiation. He vomited a lot of blood. The station chief called for an ambulance to take him to the hospital. At that moment, the crew had just worked out a remedial plan. The only way to remedy the situation is, the only way to remedy the situation is to pour cold water into the reactor to cool it down, so that the radiation level can be reduced. After the order was given, firefighters immediately set up a ladder to pour water into the reactor. But this water is obviously not enough. The temperature in the reactor. There is no tendency to reduce the temperature in the reactor. If this continues, there will be a second explosion. At that moment, the old station chief noticed that several fire engines were leaving the station. When I asked, I learned that they were going to the freshwater reservoir a few kilometers away to replenish fresh water. After hearing this, the old station chief rushed into the command room and questioned the new station chief. There's an endless supply of seawater right next door. Why did they have to go so far to get fresh water? But the new station master said with a straight face, this is an instruction from the head office. At that moment, the old station chief finally realized, in the eyes of those Korean officials, the lives of ordinary people are just a number. On the other hand, the residents of the stadium finally realized the truth. They all started to flee, but they didn't realize that the exits had already been locked down. Even the internet was cut off. It was obvious what they were trying to do. The residents were furious. They pushed down the gates, they grabbed some buses and headed for the far side. But when they got on the highway, they found the roadblock. They had no choice but to go on foot. At this moment the president is sitting in his office, facing the chaos outside. He hated himself for not being able to do anything. He was finally woken up by his wife. He rushed into the command center with a few of his loyal men. He took back the command and immediately informed the old station chief to abandon the reactor. Use seawater to cool it down. The old station chief had waited too long for this. He ordered all the personnel present to use all the facilities. Started pouring seawater into the reactor. Soon the temperature dropped. Radiation levels began to drop. Then it was time to go inside for maintenance. But when the old station chief came in, he found a more serious problem. The nuclear fuel storage tanks, just a wall away from the reactor, were cracking. The cooling water was leaking. As the water level continues to drop, as the water level continues to drop, if the fuel comes in contact with air and melts, there will be another explosion.